Okay, well that's slightly better. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming how I dye my eyebrows and eyelashes at home and I've been waiting to film this for like a month because I did them like a month ago and they last like a month each. So like waiting for my eyebrows to fade and waiting for my eyelashes to fade off so I can film this video. So I think I'm gonna start with my eyebrows because I just plucked them because were really really bad and to dye my to dye my eyebrows i use um this brand here i don't know if i should brave pronouncing it or not i think i will it's this brand here and i've been using this dye for a while now so i don't really have the box anymore but you get um a color which is dark brown for me you get the activator here you get um, a container which is very dirty so you're not going to see that much and a mixer and a little spoolie to put the dye on your eyebrows okay well I can't find any Vaseline so I'm gonna use some chapstick here because you put this around the edges of your eyebrows so it doesn't dye your skin and because I've been doing it for a while once I decided to be like no nah, I've done this for ages I'll you know I'll just do it without and it dyed like my skin like here so I've learned. I'm just gonna get a cotton bud and I'm gonna rub it on the end of the chapstick and then I'm just gonna apply it around the outside of my eyebrows. Like here. And you want to make sure your skin's really well covered because this acts as a barrier, like I said, between the dye and your skin. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm gonna start mixing my dye together so i'm gonna get the pigment color which is dark brown and i'm gonna put about it looks really gross it looks like i'm gonna put about a centimeter of it into a disgusting little mixer here which has been permanently dyed brown and i add five drops of activator that was not five I'm going to soak some of that out. Now with the mixer, I'm going to start mixing and it's quite difficult to get it to mix together at first so I kind of stab it a lot. But then after the bits have broken up and then it just starts to mix together and become like this brown goo. So once it's all mixed together, it looks like this. Nice. And it's kind of thick. I don't know if this makes a difference, but I like to leave it on the side for a minute or two and it goes like a darker brown in colour and then I feel like it gives me darker brows, but that could just totally be me like making stuff up. So it's been a few minutes and I'm ready to dye my brows now. So I get the little spoolie and I get the dye and I just brush it on all the way around so the spoolie gets really coated coat coated <laughs> I brush this fully with the dye on through my eyebrow and it goes like really crazy dark and it looks like slugs for a bit but it's fine because we'll sort that out when it wipes off and I just like to brush them up so I know all the hairs are covered and then brush them down again and basically just coat all of the hairs like five times and I really like to make sure that all my front hairs are covered because they're the lightest so I like them to be as dark as the rest of my eyebrow so I'm just gonna do my other eyebrow Now I have two massive slugs on my forehead. I'm gonna move on to my eyelashes. Just while these die and everything, and my eyelashes take like two minutes, and this is supposed to stay on for. I normally leave it on for like five, but I don't really know. It doesn't say. It says the instructions on the back of this, apart from the time. So I'm just gonna clean my eyelashes with a cotton pad and some water. 
I don't know why you do this. It, the package just tells me to do this. So in this set, this is what you get. I'm not really sure what these are for. I think they're for under your eye, but I can't stick them under my eye. It never works. So you're supposed to stick it to your lash line with like Vaseline. And that's why it's never worked for me. So I'm gonna try to stick these. I think it's up here because I do sweep them up. No, but then it's gonna smudge my eyebrows. Help. Okay, well I'm gonna try. I've only used this one once before and that was like a month ago and it worked really well, which is why I'm doing it now. So I'm gonna put some of my chapstick on these little guard things. I'm gonna just stick it on. It's a bit big for my eye. Okay, wow, this isn't working. Here, I'll try again. Nope. Nope. I'll just do what I did before and hold it up while I do it. With this one, you get the black color solution and you've put it onto your eyelashes with a cotton bud. So I'm just gonna do that now. I just coat them quite generously, mostly focusing on the ends. <laughs> These video angles are gonna be so bad. Oh well, so I'm gonna quickly run it through my bottom lashes because I do dye these a little bit. Okay, then it says, leave for one minute without rinsing off and proceed to next step. So I'm gonna leave this on for a minute, then proceed to next step. I'm just gonna clean my eyelashes with a cotton pad and some water. I don't know why you do this, it, the package just tells me to do this. I use this to dye my eyelashes and they also do um, they also do eyebrow dye as well, but I choose that one and these are both really affordable. I just completely smudged my nail. So in this set, this is what you get. I'm not really sure what these are for. I think they're for under your eye, but I can't stick them under my eye, it never works. So. You're supposed to stick it to your lash line with like Vaseline and that's why it's never worked for me. So I'm going to try to stick these. I think it's up here because I do sweep them up. No, but then it's going to smudge my eyebrows. Help. <laughs> okay, well I'm going to try. I've only used this one once before and that was like a month ago and it worked really well, which is why I'm doing it now. So I'm gonna put some of my chapstick on these little guard things. I'm gonna try to stick it on. It's a bit big for my eye. Okay, wow, <laughs> this isn't working. Here, I'll try again. Nope, nope. I'll just do what I did before and hold it up while I do it. I just got bright, bright eye. I just got brow dye. With this one, you get the black color solution and you put it onto your eyelashes with a cotton bud. So I'm just gonna do that now, I just coat them quite generously, mostly focusing on the ends. <laughs> These video angles are gonna be so bad. Oh well. They're gonna quickly run it through my bottom lashes because I do dye these a little bit. Okay, then it says leave for one minute without rinsing off and proceed to next step. So I'm gonna leave this on for a minute, then 
proceed to next step. Okay, it's been about a minute and now I'm going to use the I'm going to use the 30 day mascara eyelash colour gel and this is just um, clear and you put it on to the little spoolie that comes with this kit as well. And then I kind of just flattened it out with my finger a bit because I'm kind of scared about showing all that in my eye. And I'm just going to brush it, brush it through my lashes. And I don't know if you can see but it just turns them like instantly darker and it turns the liquid on here black there's like a bit flying off the end and I don't want that to like hit my face my lower lashes I'm just gonna hold this here because I don't want it getting on my skin I just got it in my eye. So with the dye on, as you can see right now, these lashes are ridiculously longer than these ones without the dye. So I'm just gonna move on to the other side and I'll be right back. And now I have my eyelash dye on I'm going to wipe off my eyebrows because this has been like five minutes now I just get a wet cotton pad and wipe and then do the same to the other side now I like to get a dry cotton pad and just wipe them see they're clean that's just to reassure myself and now as you can see my eyebrows are a lot darker and look a lot fuller than they did at the beginning of this video i love this stuff so much i used to have literally no eyebrows when i was in the first few years of high school i decided to pluck them all off and it was literally like a line of hair like just a line of a thin line of like a loop it was like not even there. I don't know what I was thinking. It was so embarrassing. So I decided to grow them and I don't have very naturally full eyebrows. So I like to dye them to make them look more full. Now I'm going to remove my eyelash dye again with a wet cotton pad. But not too wet because I don't want it to leak into my eye like I did before. So I'm just going to wipe down like this and then wipe to the side you don't get much product coming off but I guess you don't need that much for your eyelashes and then I just pinch and then like kind of wiggle my eyelashes with it and then I just make sure that all the dye is off ow now my eyelashes look more full as well because my eyelashes have like a gradient and they go from like black at the tip to like blonde at the end. So you can't normally see the ends of my eyelashes but you can now. So that is the end of this video I think. I think. I'm just looking at all this mess right now that I have to clean up. <laughs> yeah so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful this is probably a useful video kind of maybe possible. but i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more of my videos then feel free to check out my channel and subscribe if you like them and i'll see you all in my next video i'm just trying to get like a good view of my eyelashes